Giving back to your alma mater is a way to show your gratitude and support for the education you received, and it helps to ensure that future generations of students can benefit from the same opportunities. Join us as we hear from alumni who have made a difference through their generous donations and learn how you can get involved and make a positive impact as well. So, sit back and enjoy as we explore one example from the 1979 class of the Faculty of Engineering, University of Nigeria. Before I introduce you to the 36 members of the 1979 alumni class who donated a building to the Faculty of Engineering, let me share how it all began. In 1979, a class of 135 students graduated from the Faculty of Engineering at the University of Nigeria. They went their separate ways after completing their national service, building their careers across Nigeria and beyond. In 1990, Ernest who had always been a bit of a social butterfly decided to host a casual drink for the members of the class of 1979 living in Port Harcourt. What he didn't know was that this impromptu reunion would be the catalyst for a remarkable act of generosity. The sound of laughter and chatter filled the air as Ernest welcomed his fellow alumni to his Port Harcourt residence. It had been over a decade since they had graduated from the Faculty of Engineering at the University of Nigeria, and many of them had gone on to build successful careers all over Nigeria and abroad. But for one night, they were transported back to their university days, reminiscing about old times and catching up on each other's lives. As the years passed, these gatherings became an annual tradition eagerly anticipated by the members of the class of 1979. They spread from Port Harcourt to Lagos, Abuja, and beyond, as the alumni reconnected with old friends and forged new connections. The camaraderie was palpable, the laughter infectious, and the memories cherished. It was during the annual meeting in Oweri in November 2018 that Rosemary, who was from Kenya, brought up the idea of giving back to the Faculty of Engineering to mark the 40th anniversary of their graduation. The idea resonated deeply with the class, many of whom had fond memories of their time on campus and wanted to show their gratitude. They discussed various options, including solar-powered electricity generation facility, water supply project, or buying a few computers, furnishing of a video conference room but could not immediately settle on what would be a befitting project since only a few had any contact with the faculty in nearly 40 years. A committee was formed to work out the details and report to the class of 1979 what to do to celebrate the 40th anniversary of their graduation. In February 2019, a team of three representatives of the graduating class of 1979 visited the faculty. They were received by the dean, Professor Val Akachukwu, together with heads of departments and some other members of the faculty at the dean's office. The team informed the faculty that they had organized themselves into a functional team and had come on behalf of their year group to investigate the best way to mark their 40th graduation anniversary with a landmark donation of a completed project to the faculty. During an informal tour of the faculty, the committee members were shocked by the pitiful and sorry state of the infrastructures and equipment including dilapidated buildings, old and obsolete teaching equipment. After several meetings over a period of five weeks, the dean accepted the 1979 class suggestion to form a joint study group called Gaplist Committee to immediately carry out a needs assessment for the faculty to identify and compile all requirements in the order of their priority with estimated costs. The committee made up of representative from every department and equal number of alumni with industry experience was constituted. The committee immediately commenced online meetings via monthly Microsoft Teams. The discussions led to the presentation of the most recent Corens Benchmark of Minimum Academic Standards report for the faculty, including a SWOT analysis. These formed the basis for the formulation of a comprehensive redevelopment strategy for the faculty. The work of the committee subsequently resulted in the development of a 1979 alumni class intervention and the development of a 25-year strategic master plan. As part of the organization to address to start implementation of the strategy, the University of Nigeria Engineering Faculty Alumni Association was registered with the Corporate Affairs Commission. The mobilization of other graduating classes of the Faculty of Engineering UNN followed for a more holistic and sustainable alumni intervention. 
Among many alternative interventions considered, the class of 1979 also chose to embark on a two-story building with three classrooms on the ground floor, 12 offices on the first floor, and a modern student's library on the second floor. This building will mark the 40th anniversary of 1979 engineering class graduation. The 36 alumni realized that giving back was not just about monetary donations, it was about making a difference in the lives of others and leaving a lasting legacy. They were grateful for the opportunity to give back to their alma mater and contribute to the success of future generations of students. They were motivated by a desire to make a difference and give back to the university that had played such a significant role in their lives. They wanted to provide the same opportunities to the current and future students of Faculty of Engineering. They had shown that when a group of individuals come together with a common goal and a selfless spirit, they can create a powerful force for positive change. They hoped that their story would become a shining example of the impact of giving back and that it would continue Professor Ijioga welcomes the Vice Chancellor. Professor Charles Arizachukwu Agui. Welcome and introduction of guests. By the Dean Faculty of Engineering Professor Ijiogu. Addressed by Representative of Class of 1979 and Chairman of 1979 Class Building Committee.
speech by the Vice Chancellor of University of Nigeria, Professor Charles Arazachukwuagui. Official opening and unveiling of the 1979 building name by Vice Chancellor University of Nigeria. Professor Charles Arazachukwuagui. Cutting the ribbon to officially open the 1979 building by Vice Chancellor University of Nigeria. Professor Charles Arazachukwuagui. Official opening and unveiling of the 1979 building plaque by Vice Chancellor University of Nigeria. Professor Charles Arazachukwuigui. Jesus, Jesus. Unveiling of the Faculty of Engineering Redevelopment Plan donated by 1979 class. Tour of the building and official unveiling of late Emeka Yugona Lecture Room. Tour of the building and official unveiling of late Oliver Akpro Jaco Lecture Room. Tour of the building and official unveiling of late Professor Gordian Ezequi Library. Jesus, bring new life out of me. I love you, Lord. Oh, your mercy never fails me And all my days I've been held in your head From the moment that I wake up Until I lay my head 
Oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. Vote of thanks by the Dean Faculty of Engineering. Professor Ijiogu. I've known you as a father. I've known you as a friend. And I have lived. Group photographs of special guest after building opening ceremony. Guests departing after building opening ceremony. Oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. Yeah. So goodness is wrong enough. It's wrong enough to me. Your goodness is wrong enough. It's wrong enough. the goodness of God. I'm gonna sing, I'm gonna sing.